Hello, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp and today I wanted to add a little technique to a card that we did recently together. So the last time, if you'll remember, I used um, that lovely blue tit and I showed you how to make a great big orb and then we saturated the sky with uh, the denim ink pad and the brayer. And what I wanted to show you was a little trick, how you can make a card sit on top of another card so that it actually is in exactly the right place. And I'll show you what I mean. If, for example, we take a piece of tracing paper, this is the key really, it's very straightforward. We'll take the tracing paper and we'll lay the tracing paper over the top of the artwork, like so. And then what I'm going to do is take a little card and decide where I want to put my window. So let's say, for example, I want my window to be there. See, I could put my window there, I can make my window smaller. I'm going to create another little card to sit on top and I would say there is good. And then I'm going to take my blue tip, the same stamp, and I'm going to stamp it into place. See, oh, the joys of transparent clarity stamping. See, I can see exactly where I'm going. So I'm just going to stamp straight over the top and I can see the tails. I only need to keep my eye. Let me put my glasses on, otherwise I won't see anything. I only need to keep my eye on two points and then I know. Why don't I move this over a little bit so we've got some of the wing there as well. That would be nice. Like so. And then I'm going to just keep my eye on two parts, like so, and then stamp my bird into place on the smaller card. Cool. So then when I lift this away, you see, I take my tracing paper away and then my bird is in exactly the right place to finish my work. So now I'm going to put my, my other piece to the side and we'll treat this as just um, a small piece of artwork. You see, in fact, we could just start like that, couldn't we? This could be the artwork. And what we're going to do now is make a, a cloudy sky. Many of you like making those clouds and I want to show you how it's so simple with our masks. So the first thing we're going to do is cover up the, the bird again, like we did last time. Okay. And then we're going to use our masks. The masks have got two sides. New mask, detach. And what I'm going to do is just take the large mask like this. And the most important thing here, really, is to just go easy. Now I've got a stencil brush and it's a blue and I haven't washed it. These are washable by the way. And what we're going to do is just see how much ink is left on there. I haven't even re-inked it. I haven't even loaded the brush because I want to see sometimes there's enough on a brush that you don't even need to put any ink on it. There's already enough on there. Let's just check it out. Okay. You can always add more, can't you? But you see, we only want a really a dusting, don't we? And notice what I can do is I can go further into the brush if I want it to be darker. But I think I've got plenty going on here now. There, you see? Almost too much. And then I want to just take the next one, like so. And then I'll dust again. And I'm just going to use my brushes, like this, and dust in the sky. And then I'll check again. That's perfect. And maybe I'll do one more there. Here we go again. Just dust in the sky. There we go. And then we'll turn the mask around and we'll use the smaller clouds in the lower down. Because then it looks like it's further away. And 
we go. We need a bit more. Just add a bit more. And this brush was just loaded with some stone washed. Just make sure that I don't spoil the masking from the bird. And then we'll add a bit more down the bottom. then we're going to replace our mask on the wax paper for next time and then perhaps if we want to we can add a little bit of blue around the bottom here. There we go. Let's just edge that down there. And then if I want to I can take a makeup sponge and I can add a little tiny bit of shadow underneath the bird with some blue on a makeup sponge. There we go, do that. So we've made our sky, you see we've got that lovely cloud, very subtle. I think very often when we add too much ink, that's when it goes, that's when it goes wrong. Better not to add enough ink and then have to add some more. Right, and then of course, like I showed you last time, this is how we colour in our bird. So what we're going to do now is take our bird and just add the mask. in the right place. <laughs> Where did he come from? And then we're going to take some stone washed, like we did before. I find using a makeup sponge makes the colour far more vibrant and intense. I just want to cover up these little birds. Um, I just want to use a post-it to do this. I think that will be easier for us. So let's just do this like so. It's just so that I don't get blue when I get excited. There we are. Right, and now we're just going to add our blue to the bird again. We'll just take our makeup sponge, add our colour. That like we did before. Add a bit of yellow, again, the colours blend beautifully. Peel away our mask carefully so we don't tear anything and then we'll remove this mask. You see now this little card in and of itself is just gorgeous and you know the other point that I wanted to make is that you can take a large stamp like the blue tip, it's a big stamp and yet you can still, um, you don't have to make a huge card with a, with a huge stamp. And what I wanted to do here was just a couple of finishing tricks, but let me just make a point here. If I load this now onto this card, you can see exactly, you see 
we've created a window with clouds, which is quite clever. So I just wanted to show you that trick with the, with the, um, with the vellum. And the last thing I want to show you is how to edge this to make it stand out from that other background. And I'm going to use a ruler and a Sharpie pen. And I'm going to use the bevel facing upwards. Let's start down the bottom. And the trick is just to expose enough of the card that you can create a little thin border. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to use a, um, a, a paper towel to make sure that my ruler is clean before I do the other four sides. There we are. So we've done all four sides very quickly, very tidily, very nicely. And now when we add that window, you see, see how it makes it jump out much better. And the last thing I want to do is take, um, take another really nice word from the word chains. And I need my black archival ink pad to complete here. Because all the time I'm doing this, I'm thinking to myself that we've made one nice big card and now we've made one small card. So you can either use one on top of the other one or you can use them independently. So this time I'm going to use the word blessings. And I'm just going to stamp that across the top. Perfect. Lid on ink pad. So there we are. We've got our lovely small uh, piece. And not that you have to use it to this end, but you'll see now that you can line this up perfectly over the top just by looking through. And there's our finished card. And then you can just, just make sure it's in the right place. Bingo. And you could lift this up off there with some little risers or not, as you prefer. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I certainly did. Bye-bye now.